Pretty Vote to tell you guys who is going to win this match. We have the poll, and it'll show up on your screen in just a moment. And it's going to be, oh, I'm trying to do this in the mirror. It's going to be Dark Zero walking away with it. So the one of the fan favorites of this region for so, so long. Not really a surprise, but I am kind of a, kind of shocked that it wasn't closer than it was going to be. Because I have a feeling that if we're going to have yet another draw, we've only had one so far, that it might be this matchup. But we'll load into the game and we'll start on Clubhouse between these teams. A map that has three viable bomb sites. We actually saw a Bar and Stock get played really? in the Rise Nation Orglas matchup yesterday, which was quite entertaining to say the least. It didn't really work out. It ended up being a very risky game that did not pay off. But you've got three viable sites here on Clubhouse. Maybe four if a team knows Bar or Stock. It's going to bring a lot of variety. An operator who ends up getting a lot of usage on this site is Maverick, and while he will not be available as Dark Zero decides that they don't want to play with or against him, and he will be the very first band. Smart ban there from Dark Zero, definitely uh, getting rid of the Maverick, as you stated. Very useful here. Monty also very useful on Clubhouse, so can't really argue with any of the bans so far from either team. It's like a ban for Space Station, the first defender, Jaeger. That's an interesting one. We do see him banned out, but it is always for a specific purpose. As when you ban him, you are hurting yourself just as much as anyone else. I mean, you could say the same for any operator, but he is the only anti-grenade operator. And you can start worrying about grenades now with him taken yeah. off of the board, and it's going to be Echo joining Maverick, Montaigne, and Jaeger as your four bans, which will leave Maestro available. Interesting picks here. Mm-hmm from Space Station, a team that has never shied away from trying new things, very similar to Dark Zero. So you've got two teams, especially with Lycan at the helm of, Dar or of uh, Space Station's strategies, rather, as their coach, is somebody who likes being creative with his approach. And creativity is the name of the game and has been for quite a while for this Dark Zero roster. They're, of course, being coached by both Bacon and BC, two yeah. minds behind these teams. So let's start things off here on CCTV and Cash. Not the most defender-sided of all of the sites. Typically, that's Church downstairs, Michael. Yeah, Church is one of the sites that most teams prefer to go to. It, it was the least changed when uh, the new update came out to the map. And uh, because of that, it has been, I think, the Defense standard bomb site, as it was in the previous build. But Dark Zero were also the... Actually, if we look far enough back, Dark Zero were the first team in North America to start bringing... Cash out. This was before the rework of Clubhouse, back when Cash was a terrible bomb site. But they tried to make it work, uh, where everybody else just kind of stuck to the bar basement. And they were, uh, yeah, they were, they, it, it worked sometimes for Dark Zero, but that was a long, long time ago. Anyway, the point I was trying to make there from that is that I'm not terribly surprised that they've gone here again, uh, as uh, it's still perfectly viable in this build. Now, the operator selection overall makes a ton of sense. Uh, one thing I do have to question is the uh, lack of a maestro. This is the first match we've seen him not banned today, and uh, he's not being played. So, could the uh, Nyx, for some reason, preferring the dock? I'm sure there's something behind that. Definitely an interesting decision, though. Bulletproof camera. But, I mean, you've got the evil eyes, so... You also got to realize that Dark Zero loves those French... Thick boys running a rook and a dock quite a bit. It's not, it's not even a joke. They actually love running both of the three it's armed true. French hoppers. It's true. They really enjoy that. We saw it on Coastline yesterday, often with a dock and a rook both being picked at the same time by DZ. If my flourish amuses you, Michael, well, I've got a lot more in store for you, but oh, maybe no. spread out over a variety of <laughs> broadcasts because humor is best when used sparingly. So, Redeemer will have no problem getting the exterior wall Looking out towards CCTV, Dark Zero sees that hot and taking some damage means that the bandit tricking will not be very successful. So that was a multi-prong attack there for Space Station. You could see why they banned Jaeger now. They used the grenade to counter the bandit battery, and they did a lot of damage to Hotten in the process and got the wall in server open very easily. As you said, efficiency is on the side of Space Station right now. That's for sure. Uh, and yeah, that ban of the Jaeger really coming into play. Very surprised to see that they were able to take out that wall with the Thermite. I wonder where the uh, Hibana's utility attacker. usage is going to be, unless they've moved her over possibly towards construction. But no, she's still downstairs. So could, Garage is very much going to be the focal point for Space Station Gaming as they open up a window up towards the... 
other window, I suppose. As Nyx is going to be on a one-man stand here. He's had two drones thrown at him, both from Redeemer, and he's taken them out, so that drone economy from Redeemer will mean that he has no information available at this point. Trying to survive grenades as best as possible, Chala is there eliminating what little was left of Hotten, but Nyx just feasts upon Redeemer as the Thermite solo entries into Garage, with Pojo watching Garage as well. It means that there's two sights from Dark Zero. Nyx just trying to evade any gunfire as he will juice himself up, but he's gonna get double teamed. He'll bring himself back to life, but he gets pounced upon by a thinking nade. Great coordination from Space Station to take Garage with control. Yeah, that was excellent from Space Station. Now that they have it, they still got plenty of time to attack the site. Nyx did his best to delay, but it just wasn't enough. Jarvis looking for a potential run out here. There might be a Claymore in play, and yes, indeed there is. So he has to guess right when he vaults that window with the pre-fire, but it's not gonna matter as uh, there's no one on Repel any longer. SSG are choked for time. They need to make the play into the site, and here we go. It's gonna be an attempted plant from Chala. The gas canister, well placed. The C4, not so much. Chala will go down and be finished off by Pojo, and there's a second for the smoke by the cash hallway. Jarvis moving in downstairs, but he will be finished off by the flank watch of Bosco. Another one for Pojo, that's three, leaving just Bosco in the one versus two. He doesn't have time to pick up the diffuser and plant, and it'll be Dark Zero to take the final round with Mint getting that last kill. Or the first round, pardon me, the final kill in the first round. It happens to the best of us, don't mm -hmm. worry at all. So systematic entry from Space Station after they're able to take away tons of map control. They grab Garage and then they push their way upwards and onwards. But they end up coming into Pojo himself and the smoke is able to choke them off. There was a misplay from Chala too. It looked like he missed that window to vault yeah. out and had to make a small adjustment back to the right at which point both ticks were able to down him and then kill him. Very likely that he probably would have gotten downed at worst and been able to crawl away and get picked up by one member of his teammate if Pojo hadn't been able to see him, but still could have ended up with Pojo ending up dead. Interestingly enough here, you don't see an often lot of often lot of time Defenders to roam presence from, from uh, the site, but why the hell not? The Cavera being run by Mint on the church. I mean, and we see, we've seen uh, Cav work before from certain teams, certain players. I, it's, it's an interesting pick, that's for sure. Uh, if you can make it work, then all power to you. I'm pretty sure the reason he's playing Cav is to avoid a potential Jackal track, which uh, stands to reason there is no Jackal on Space Station side. But of course, Dark Zero couldn't possibly know that. There's the potential for the six pick. So uh, good job to, uh, if Mint manages to make it work, other than that, uh, people are going to, I'm sure, heavily criticize the decision to pick the calf. There are some redeeming things about the calf, though. Um, of course, the pistol is lethal at close range in the most roundabout of ways in that it will almost guarantee it down, but it also does so very much damage that, uh, yeah, you're going to win a lot of fights if you're within, i uh, say, 7 to 10 meters. Now, that is not a guarantee, though as uh, it is a pistol, you are going to need to land those shots. Overall, the uh, operator selection from Space Station makes a lot of sense. You got those dual hard destructors that you can attack pretty much any site on this map. Of course, with Maverick being banned, he's no longer an option. You're going to have to bring in all that you can. Interesting positioning here from Mint early on. He's going to be playing by the pool table, which is... It's a bit of a jungle. I think a lot of the reason why people don't like to defend the bar is due to that jungle, which leaves a lot of engage or a lot of the engagements that happen around it up to chance. And the jungle I'm talking about, of course, is by billiard slash pool table, depending on what region of the world you hail from. Nyx will get the first kill of the round. Thinking Nate goes down. And uh, yeah, Nyx really, uh, I think, highlighting why he's playing the dock instead of the maestro there. He really is fond of that MP5. I cannot get over how close right now Space Station Gaming is as they've just walked into the back of the site. Chala takes out Pojo Man and Rampy trying to eliminate Nyx, but the Doc will be able to walk away with it. Plant going down from Chala with Bosco giving covering fire and Mint is very far and removed from the situation. Trying to creep on up as Space Station will now be a pretty wonderful post plant here. There's one body inside of blue with Chala holding. Oh, 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 oh. Nyx taking a oh. third, but he grabs the fourth. Can Nyx get them all looking for the fifth? Trying to drop the body, but no, it'll be Minute to just to rub salt in the wound. Hot and cold will steal the kill away. No interrogation. And Dark Zero with round two. A bit of family infighting as Hotten not only taking the interrogation away from Mint, but the ace away from his cousin Nyx. It'll be DZ up 2 nothing. So.
I'll, I'll, I guess we'll, let's get into that. Space Station, excellent play to get into the site, seeing the opportunity, seizing it. I love the initiative there from Space Station. Really, props to him for that. Getting the diffuse plant, no less. But they didn't kill Nyx in the back of sight. And that's the end of the story. Nyx managing to get the 4K, absolutely tearing his opponents apart one after another. And that's a big part of that story, is that Space Station at no point were poised to refrag onto Nyx. And any opportunities they were given, they missed the shot. I am truly puzzled that Nyx managed to get the Habana, who was holding the angle on his position, fully aware where he was playing. I mean, Nyx just came out on top. He was the better player in that round. Again, props to him pulling his team out of a really, really dangerous situation. Now Dark Zero having won both of their defenses will go to the third site. And that's going to be the Gym Master defense. They're going to also extend themselves over to Cash as per usual. Well, I say usual. This is one of the options that you have while defending this site. You can go for control of Cash. You don't need to hold it as uh, part of your site per se, but you can extend yourself over here and delay the attackers quite a lot. It is fairly easy to put two players, one in cash, one in cash stairs, and hold that for minute, two minutes before falling back to site. But if you are cut off from construction, you will have to stay there, and that is the dangerous part of this play. This is where credit needs to be paid here to the developers to go and change the clubhouse wall over by Jacuzzi to prevent impact tricking. Because if you recall, yeah. there was a portion of that wall that's being shown by Marcy right there. It's now steel. You used to be able to throw a grenade up. It would destroy either the exothermic charge or possibly even the Xkeros on the other side of it, which would make your entry as a hard breacher nigh impossible unless you could somehow manage to take care of a Legion or a Castle or anybody playing on the other side that might be holding an impact. Whoa, it's a scare there for Bosco as the retreat almost costs him his life. So you hear Jarvis down below with a C4 tossed out from Oil Pit, but it will not get anybody. But anywho, imagine how much more defender side of this map would be if that simple change hadn't been made to Jim and Master. Yeah, it was uh, definitely a good job on the side of Ubisoft. So props to them for seeing the, oppor or the opportunity to better the map and doing just that. Now, SSG working their way into server and cash. But, I mean, it's taken them quite a lot of time. They've managed to open up the mirror window, though. There's no way for the defenders to challenge that Xkeros in this situation. Because of that, they're going to start falling back. The Legion, the last one still playing cash, and that's Nyx. He did a lot in the last round, and he's gonna be heavily pressured here, but he manages to make the rotation. Rampy missing his shot, uncharacteristic of Rampy. As you said yesterday, having an excellent match, but Nyx just well, losing nice. 25 HP in that engagement. Thinking Nate has worked his way in towards Cash, and a lot of teams that will fight really hard to retain control of Cash here, and especially this, the construction side of things. And as it ends up being a significant part of the defense's map control. Now, excellent drone work from Space Station on all these different flank drones. We know from Dark Zero's side of things, this information might not be known to Space Station, but to DZ, there are multiple members of DZ playing all Bomb over the place. With these drones in position, it'll be a good opportunity for Space Station to possibly catch them. Knock, knock. Jacuzzi wall finally being opened up. As you can see, one more burst of Xkeros available for Chala as he's going to use the second onto the bathroom wall, which is where you see the smoke of Pojo playing. His space station will now have to go elsewhere. This bathroom control is gone. Lots of drone work from space station still available as Jarvis finds the one drone. Rampy on flank watch, just patiently waiting, and not a ton of time left for space station to work with. Cooking frag grenades with no Yig. We'll try to get the most out of this buck. Thinking they're taking some damage through the window. They will need to hurry. 10 seconds left and everybody's still alive. This is going to get oh, awfully no. messy with Pojo finishing things off on the Redeemer. Bosco trades it off. Diffuser down successfully as Space Station will look to transition. Just waiting. Thinking Nade, Bosco down, Thinking Nade very low on HP. Bosco trying to get away, Rampy trying to reset him. He will do so successfully. Chala is there to take out Jarvis after Jarvis eliminates Thinking Nade. Attackers and Mint need will need to try to push into construction with Hotten watching the other way. Chala now eating an impact grenade and Bosco holding the SMG-11 at a very tight angle. All the while, we're seeing a slugfest between these teams. Bosco eliminating Hot and Minton is there. Rampy takes out Nyx, a 2v1. Mint will have to jump outside. He gets both! Does but, he have time? Oh, he needs to get back! No. Hustle, Mint! Hustle, you need to get there in time! He He's can't. barely gonna make it! The clock's so close! 
and it might end up being a choke for Dark Zero, and Space Station will get it by the oh. skin of their interstellar teeth. Dark Zero coming so close to incredible theatrics, but Mint, the right move at the wrong time, could make all the difference. A big victory for Space Station. Certainly an earned round there for Space Station, but a lot of mistakes, one little one after another made by Dark Zero is why we have that result. I'm imagining the reason they had the reinforcement in gym was to allow for an easier play. Uh, the players possibly by cash or uh, the ones playing in the island in the middle of master. Whatever the case is with that reinforcement, I do feel it was a mistake. It allowed for Space Station get, to get the defuse down on the floor, planted, and uh, I, I mean, from there, that's that's it. That's all she wrote. I, you look at that round tactically, and Dark Zero had it in the bag, but they just didn't open up all of Jim Wall. I, again, I'm imagining it's because they want to make other positions easier to play, but it is the wrong call in this case. Of course, hindsight 2020, but uh, yeah. And because they didn't have any hard counter for a plant in gym, besides the smoke, who was not in a position to throw his gas canisters, that's, yeah, it allowed for the plant. I do think that a solution might be, bear with me, I know Nyx is absolutely insane on Doc. Maybe bring in a Maestro? Putting an yeah, evil eye cam go. inside of B might have been the, the, you know, the solve on that round. Because he is available. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, I don't know. Uh, Again, hindsight 2020. But yeah, Dark Zero needed some way to deny that plant. Now, moving forward, Space Station did win that round, but it was very narrow. They had to fight tooth and nail to take it. And uh, I'm sure they're going to have to continue to do so moving forward as they attack Cash. Keep in mind, that if this the next three rounds repeat themselves, that you'll end up with Dark Zero taking four of the six rounds, which yeah. is right about statistically where the defense should be on Clubhouse. So that, in a lot of ways, just really plays out to more of a map type deal than anything else. Nah, I, right? Yeah, it's, 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 it was one of the most defensive sided maps out there. These yeah, days. and it sits just above 60%, which is two thirds of the map. Oh no, oh, a run out from mid. Oh, tries for a second and he'll down thinking Nate. I don't know if that information is relayed. It does look like it is. As Houghton picks up another great Valkyrie camera on that tree will stop the push from both Chala and Thinking Nate. Now, here's the good news. There's still soft destruction and hard destruction available from both Redeemer and Bosco. The beautiful thing about that play, though, is it wasn't just a mindless run out. I mean, obviously, he had the Valkyrie cam. He made the calculation, but he was there deliberately. His What he was trying to do is deny the grenade onto the bandit of Hotten, who's bandit tricking the wall in server. Because the Jaeger was banned, I mean, Space Station is broadcasting that strategy. They also well, used it the last time they attacked Cash Room. So Mint was just primed and ready. That C4 doing so much damage to Bosco, putting him in a bad spot, a little bit of damage delivered back back onto Houghton, but not nearly as much. And uh, right now, Space Station are in a tricky spot. The one good thing that the grenade will do, though, Michael, is open mm -hmm. up the, or at least get rid of the bandit jammers, or bandit charges, rather, that were on the other side of that wall, which will allow for Redeemer to open it up. And he'll have a great view of the interior of CCTV, and he can sit and wait. But Space Station still have not been able to take care of Nyx, who is playing inside of Garage. Diffuser will need to be fetched Attackers by Bosco, who has very little either. HP and will not survive more than a tick or two on one of the toxic canisters off of Pojo. Nick's still holding on to Garage. He's been pretty decent at holding this when not confronted by the entire Space Station team as he was last time playing this position. And uh, if Space Station doesn't go hard on him, then they're not going to be able to actually get Garage control, which is going to mean they're going to have to face a crossfire when they attack the site, which is very dangerous, even having this wall open. They will reset one of their players, but that costs them quite a lot of time, and now they face the final 30 seconds. Nyx has moved over because he has a Valkyrie camera above him that we can see that faint blue-ish glow mm -hmm. as he's now going to have an ACOG to stare all the way out. And a great angle as he'll take the head off a Redeemer. Not a lot here for Space Station. They will make managed to blind him, and oh no, the C4, there you go! Just misses the Ash, but will collect wow. the Sledge, and Houghton is there for a second kill of the round. And things will go back to the norm as Dark Zero wins yet another defense, and they're up three to one. Dark Zero was certainly just a step ahead of Space Station in every way in that particular round. 
beautiful play by Ment with the run out. I mean, taking out the gr the initial grenades and then some. Hot and cold able to get the second kill on the downed player. Following that, I mean, Dark Zero stacked up on pretty much everything that Space Station attempted to push into. Uh, the Garage, again, Nick's holding down pretty firm. He didn't have to confront the entire enemy team, and that's why it was easy for him to hold. Attack the information game from Dark Zero was excellent. Again, this is without a Maestro or an Echo, which we were talking about being so crucial in the information world. Dark Zero is still managing to have full information. I wonder how much of this is Dark Zero playing without a Maestro because they assume that it will be banned. Possible. And they just they you know remember the times that Mira was almost a must ban yeah. and and then she would go unbanned and what would happen? Nobody played her. Nobody would play her. Why? Because you don't use her in your scrims because you presume that she'll be banned. Yeah, I mean it's it's definitely uh it's definitely you were talking about it earlier, actually. It was the same thing as uh, every other step of the meta. It's yeah, cyclical. You know, you have this sort of thing with every different type of defender and attacker. I mean, it's a shift, 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 shift all the time. And I guess that's like where the transition we're in right now. I mean, in the previous matches we saw today, Maestro and Echo were both banned in uh, Rogue versus EG and Accelerate versus Orglis. Then here in this match, Echo's banned as well. No Maestro, sure, but that's because Space Station had a particular plan in mind. They want to get rid of the Jaeger so they can nade server wall because they're aware Dark Zero bandit tricks that wall. So, I mean, it, it makes sense that Dark Zero are not bringing the Maestro if they practice with the Dock, uh, and it's certainly been working out for them. Uh, the only round it didn't was in the Gym Master Defense, where it would have been nice to have some kind of tool to deny the plant in Gym. But again, that's in the past, and since then, Dark Zero have been very dominant with what they're bringing to the table. Speaking of, second cap. That's interesting. And of course, if you do the drone work that Space Station did last time around when they were attacking uh, upstairs onto the cash side of things, the amount of drones that they can save and stash will need to be quite high because you want to see an interrogation from Mint. I know we all want to see an yeah. interrogation from <laughs> Mint. And he's going to be playing downstairs. Look at this. There's going to be a rotate, actually, as both Houghton and Jarvis are playing buddy-buddy. Siamese twins right now, conjoined at the hip, so to speak. They are aware that there is going to be presence inside of Bar, and Mint will now get droned out from Bosco and have to move, but he's still going to likely have the mute of Hot and Cold watching. This is what I was talking about the last time we saw Mint playing in this area. I, I think it's appropriate to, to dub that area jungle, because it's just that. It's a jungle. It's really hard to fight those close angles, especially against a cab. Mint is playing a couple of long ones, though, and is dancing with death right now is he is being collapsed upon by three different players. He's going to down one and finish him off. That's thinking nade. Shotgun comes out and a second for Mint. He sees the third, pulls out the pistol, and oh, that's three! Will it be an interrogation? No! He gets the melee and he's going to fall back to strip club. Definitely the right calculation there. He would have exposed himself to Rampy and denied himself that kill, but he's still on the hunt and Space Station are looking to shut him down, but Mint has certainly done his job on this roam. What incredible play switching back to that shotgun and at such close range, too. He manages to walk away with only 30 damage roughly being done to him. That's a massive victory. Maybe closer to 40 uh, if we had the exact value in front of us. Redeemer is a man on an island all the way downstairs in blue, completely on his lonesome, with Rampy now joining him at the top of blue. Now, keep in mind that no Claymore placement will survive an impact grenade that is tossed appropriately. Jarvis will see one walk by very, very quietly. He reads that situation wrong, though, and Jarvis has a great opportunity for a kill that will just go beyond his grasp. But Mint is on the hunt now, and he looks to be coming down towards main stairs. He'll join the rest of his team. Cutting off the angle into the site will be Jarvis throwing out one of his goo mines, waiting for somebody to come in. Nyx collects a double kill on both Redeemer and Rampy. And you gotta give a massive amount of kudos there to the way Mint played that upstairs in the bathroom. The 3K to blow that round for his team wide open. I mean, that was clearly predetermined strategy from Mint. We saw him do that with Cav twice. He, the first time, he didn't get an opportunity to spring into action. Not really. Not in the way he planned. That time, he certainly did. Again, that jungle by Billiards is just so chaotic to challenge against an operator like Cav. It's the perfect tool to hold down that zone. And Mint knows it. He took full advantage of it, and he got his team a round win. Very impressive play on the Cav. Nyx as well, who has been absolutely tearing his opponents apart in this match, gets the final two. I mean, that's 
Not exactly surprising. Again, the lack of the Maestro is a definitely an interesting thing, as is the Clash pick that we're seeing here. But Dark Zero are making it work most of these rounds very, very well. So, proving you don't need to bring any one particular operator. Very well done. Now, again, the Clash, again. I want to raise something because we don't often focus on kills. Mm -hmm. Dark Zero is averaging two kills a round. That's, or sorry, Space Station is averaging two kills a round. Yeah. <laughs> that is poor. Insertion. That is very poor from almost every single metric, and it's not going to win you rounds, even if you get a post plant down. Keep in mind that there was run round where Mint was about a second Attackers away from stealing it Attackers away from Space Station, which is actually their only victory so far. So very similar to what we saw from Accelerate and Orglis, comes down to a second being the main difference here. Yeah. But 10 kills is something that can't happen. And five of those are Bosco right now. So you really need this team to be able to wake up because your fragging potential as Space Station is very poor right now. And that is just not going to work at all. Especially when you're playing against a team as erratic as Dark Zero has been so far. I think it's calculated um, from on Dark Zero's side. It, it looks erratic because they're, they're playing in very different ways every single round. I mean, here we see them adjusting into a clash. But they're clearly, clearly predicting that SSG is going to go for a cash dedicated push. And Mint is just here to help support it. I mean, that makes sense considering SSG went for this push last time they attacked onto Jim. And they got control of cash with fairly decent efficiency. Now that Mint has made this adjustment, though, it's going to put more pressure on Space Station to either commit to this clear or adjust their take. And in all likelihood, they're going to have to adjust as they don't have the tools to deal with this clash. And there's two bodies from Dark Zero that will be assisting here. You'll be able to throw down the goo mines, and you've also got the bandit of hot and cold not too far removed. So three bodies just trying to hold off as a frag grenade will sail by, and Dark Zero collapses in towards construction. But Nyx is a drop hole and will hit the deck and can now once again resume a flank up the stairs. Very efficient clear there from Space Station. You have to really commend them for being able to deal with the Dark Zero Clash problem uh, and not lose any manpower. Lots of HP, but not manpower. Thinking Nate on low HP on that note, and he will very likely be attempted to be reset later, but Redeemer's gonna get Nyx, who was going for the flank. Not an ideal situation, but you're only gonna lose one body with a minute to go. That's pretty decent, all things considered, so. Up top, as Space Station now looks longingly in towards construction, they have some soft walls at their disposal as Jim Master, the site, is not too far away. Looking to try and see what they can accomplish here as they still have a clash to deal with. That's going to be definitely a large speed bump on this attack. The nade was saved from Bosco, but it's not going to do enough damage to kill Mint. And with so little time, that shield is just continuing to gather information. Dark Zero clearly aware of all of the pushes that Space Station have going right now, thanks to that shield. Though, the Jacuzzi wall has been opened. That is a huge boon for Space Station as they come down to the last 20 seconds of this round. It's gonna have to be an impressive collapse and definitely a brawl. But oh no, Chala doesn't fully clear the angle. Hot and cold in the perfect plant deny position. And he will be the linchpin for this round and Dark Zero. Pojo Man also able to get a kill of his own. The slow peek from Redeemer will out though and Rampy gets another. Jarvis and Mint now in the two versus three, but Bosco might be on the floor. The plant's going down, but there's no time. If anyone denies it, it'll be a win for the defense, but it's just not happening. The diffuser goes down and will be planted successfully. Mint with the shield out has to one versus two. He knows he's downed the thermite and goes for the secure. Very dangerous play in that situation, but he's got that reinforcement still. The diffuser is planted though, the reinforcement in a position where he cannot be covered. He's gonna go for the long arm. This is very dangerous. And he leaves himself exposed to the IQ of Rampy, who will secure the round and Space Station take another attack onto Jim. Very difficult when there's not a suitable rotate in there for the Clash to be able to get through. Nothing really for Mint to do, knowing that that Diffuser is down and he's in a rock and a hard place, as our good friend Milos would say. And look at that. It's a 4-2 scoreline with both losses from Dark Zero coming on the Gym Master side of things. I have to say, I feel as though, and again, you know, the hindsight 2020, but the real solution there for Dark Zero is to bring some kind of tool. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Is that a... 
that surely must be a mistake. Uh, well, there looks like they're going to six pick off of it, but I don't know how. Well, we'll see how this plays out. Anyway, moving past uh, that. A little bit of a scare there from Space Station. I think I think they're just trying to give us a little bit of hiccup. For those that are curious, <laughs> both Kaid as well as Nomad are not allowed. So there you go. Got my heart beating though for a second. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I want to go back to Jim because that was the only defense that Dark Zero lost in that entire half. They lost Jim twice, and why? Because they did not have the tools to deny the plant inside of Jim. They didn't fully open the wall, they reinforced one of the walls, and Space Station made full use of that. I really do feel as though, okay, not bringing Maestro on some of these other sites, fine. But Maestro yeah, on Jim clearly is the solution, or some kind of tool, any tool, to Five stop that plant. Left. Because whatever it is you do have in plant, a position to stop it, is it's not working. Attackers so, a nearly perfect half from Dark Zero, but they just couldn't deny the plant in Jim, and that's it. That's all it is. Now, moving on, Space Station will be bringing the Maestro in their first defensive round, and they will be going to Cash as well. All right, so Cash was the first place that we saw Dark Zero go, and they made mm -hmm. it work quite well. They ended up getting... Uh, they ended up getting the victory there. It's not a surprise to see Mint on the Blitz. Obviously, the shield play from Dark Zero is pretty commonplace. Michael, so... Mm -hmm. They are definitely unknown for that. Absolutely. And it does appear to be quite a brisk pace to be able to get that wall open as well. And would you look at that? Yeah. Easy. That was that was actually very fast. As you said, they decided to bring the Thatcher, and that's going to help them in that endeavor. On top of that, Space Station brought a mute in lieu of a bandit, which means that they cannot trick the wall. And, I mean, you can technically trick with the mute jammer, but it's not likely to work. Nyx, though, pushing his way into office, and he will open up a rotation. Bosco, though, takes full advantage of it and manages to secure the kill onto Nyx. Good positioning there from Bosco. This is where we're really going to test the theory in regards to how much of this was Space Station being able to just lose attacks because of the way this map works, or maybe because of the fact that Dark Zero just looked so darn good. But Dark Zero's got lots of utility on their side of things, and a capability to just overrun the site. They're all lined up by the opening, and I wonder how much of that is going to lead to a push in. They've lost Nyx. That means that their only set of frag grenades is gone. Also keep in mind, there's no Thatcher, or no, no Jaeger, rather. Oh, man. And it appears that we're just going to see a push right in. It's a literal uh -oh. blitz, but Redeemer cuts down Mint. 80 bullets, by the way. Bosco shreds hot and cold with a C4. And that will be Dark Zero's push in completely defanged with Pojo gone as well. It means just Jarvis will have to get in on his own. And Bosco has the shotgun just waited, pointed right at the perfect level. And unless Jarvis can see the mute around the corner, he's almost certainly dead. It was a utility dump as well, as you can tell from Jarvis's side of things, that there's zero asphyxiating bolts and zero smokes available. Just gonna peek and that's it. One shot from Bosco as he takes out Jarvis and, well, look at that. A little bit of a celebration. Don't do that too early. Remember the last time you did that against DG? Well, you got <laughs> trounced. So maybe <laughs> reserve that for if you win, because you still don't have one of those this season, Space Station. But worth celebrating, because that was a masterful defense by them and a bit of a poor attack from Dark Zero and cause for celebration on SSG side of things. Certainly agreed there. Well done to Space Station. I like the idea of the strategy from Dark Zero. Uh, but, yeah, when you vault your Blitz through a window, you leave him very exposed because the shield can often do things that you really don't want it to do, like not cover much of your body. And that's why we saw the uh, LMG there from Maestro of Redeemer able to do so much damage. Attackers now, it's another thing that's really interesting is actually that Dark Zero banned Echo instead of uh, Maestro against Space Station. I mean, we, we have, we've had long conversations about Redeemer's uh, skill on uh, Maestro. I mean, it used to be Echo, right? Way back. But then when Maestro came out, he just transitioned and he looked super powerful on both of them. But yeah, and it's curious that Dark Zero decided to go with the Echo ban instead of the Maestro ban. I would have thought it would be the other way around, but clearly they have different ideas there. Um, but yeah, I, I think maybe that uh, push might have been served with the or served well by the uh, Blitz instead of trying to push into uh, the garage.
to cut off the crossfire, simply pushed into the site to disrupt the anchors. Because the uh, Maestro was in a really good spot. Redeemer's in a fantastic spot to influence that push, uh, regardless of whatever the Blitz did. But it was a rush play. And I feel like you got to shock the anchors first. Maybe uh, maybe it's uh, a little bit more of a surgical play there from Dark Zero, but just didn't work out. So that's the, sometimes the complications with those surgical plays. Space Station did a good job locking things up. So you'd imagine that this site will likely go in favor of the defense unless something goes horribly awry. Dark Zero is going to bring the exact same lineup that they had last time, too, to see what they're capable of accomplishing with them. Hopefully, they won't be losing Nyx early on, as that was a massive impediment to their push, taking the set of frag grenades out. And need I remind you, yet again, that it was Space Station who banned the Yanker. I like what I'm seeing here from Dark Zero. Uh, Nyx is going to open up the drop down above pool table. So that's them aware of how influential that area can be if played properly. And I mean, we're all aware of that now, considering what we saw from Mint earlier uh, in the match. And Dark Zero is shutting it down before it can even happen from Space Station. Uh, it is going to be, I believe, an all on site here from SSG. They're playing it smart and safe because they want to get those rounds back in their favor. And yes, indeed, there you go. All on site here from SSG. Unless you count Dirt Tunnel as roaming, which I don't think anyone really does. <laughs> so, yeah. It's it's aggressive site. It's very, very close to site. You're playing aggressively. You can get back at any real time here. I'm going to be intrigued to see how much utility Dark Zero expends on these castle barricades as well. Castle on this site is not something that you see every single day, though it makes a lot of sense with a mirror on the board to try and use it mm -hmm. downstairs in blue. That'll just slow Dark Zero's advance a tiny bit. You don't have a Zofia and you don't have an Ash, so your soft destruction is likely going to be used from those frag grenades from the Buck, which is actually very smart from Space Station, given that there's no Jaeger, they don't need to worry about other projectiles from those frag grenades being used or stopped because they will likely just be applied to those castle barricades without a sledge or any other soft destruction there that could possibly work. Oh, that's a nice shot from whoever managed to land it. I think that was the Maestro's, uh, Redeemer's Maestro. Yeah, it very well could have been. And I think you're, I think you're right. Uh, definitely a tight angle onto the drone. That's the information being shut out from Dark Zero just a little bit, though. Mint is setting himself up for another rush, this time inside of Moto. The C4 will come out to counter him, but the EMP counters the C4 in turn. Mint up close and personal with these enemies, managing to flash them, but stuck in the crossfire. It's really hard to get this engagement in his favor. He will finally take out Shala, but it's his team falling one after another, putting more pressure on Mint. Able to get two. His last teammate, though, Pojo, at the bottom of main stairs. That's three for Mint. Incredible pistol play, and he has the diffuser. Going for the plant behind Black Box. This is the perfect position for him to plant solo. Pojo's doing his best to cover, but he's going to lose the fight to Redeemer, forcing Mint into an A situation. He's going to get the 4K. He has the mirror window and the flash, and he gets it. The ace from Mint, and the round all on Blitz. And match, or almost match point as well for Tark. Zero as they take their fifth round. What an absolute whirlwind and a monster of a round on an incredible singular effort. Mint on the Cavera and then on the Blitz on both sides of the equation. Nobody from Space Station can stop that liftoff of Blitz. So. <laughs> Here we have another opportunity for Space Station to go back <laughs> downstairs. And he did it all himself. He also got the diffuser down. Literally, a perfect round. How's that Defenders cost for you? <laughs> Kills, <laughs> objective, <laughs> survives, and trades. Oh my, my. Mint does it all, man. Uh, 14 kills. In eight rounds, he's gunning for the record now, too. <laughs> he might be able to beat out Rampy the day after, but it would be definitely uh, a still a pretty tough feat at this point in the match. Now, Dark Zero doing very well, thanks to Mint's play there. They are slotted to lose this round, though. Uh, all things considered, Mint did clutch it out, but he should have lost that round. If we, if we take a step back, that is a round Space Station needed to take away. It's a basement defense on Clubhouse. They should get this next one. But at the same time, losing any basement defense downstairs is usually, on this map, a pretty heavy blow, potentially mortal blow, if you cannot compensate by winning rounds that you aren't, well, expected to win. So, Dark Zero only losing gym defense, Space Station struggling to win there on the basement. 
Uh, this is looking as it, you know, it, it obviously statistically, if you look at the rounds, it is Dark Zero's map right now. But it, it already is shaping up to be a Dark Zero map in the long run. Lightning doesn't strike twice usually, right? So you've, True. you've got to imagine that that effort from Mint is... <laughs> the, uh, but uh, yeah, and just what a rock is entrance, making a state mint, so to speak, downstairs inside of the church. You know, I know he did it with Blitz. He's got the shield, he's got the flash, but five kills with a pistol, and many of them at range, too. I mean... Yeah, he didn't get a, he didn't get a single melee kill, did he? It was all it was all pistol. Technically all pistol. He could have melee the uh, Mira. the Mira, but he didn't. So yeah, it was there. You go. Yeah. So he's gonna just drone himself in essentially, and that was one of that's another way that Dark Zero plays this mint. And I gotta give a lot of credit to Space Station. They knew that the shield was coming. You saw both the smoke and the mirror were positioned in such a way that the moment that mint popped up through that moto doorway, that there was two bodies staring at him. That was well read by SSG. I just don't think they were expecting the bull rush that he did, the flashes, and then the smokes as well at the door of church as he vaulted and took out the Mira after she almost was able to knife it away. You know, thing that, one thing that's really curious to me is that we've just seen two drop downs left unreinforced here by Space Station. I understand that there are two uh, hard breachers uh, available to Dark Zero, and obviously they're going to get the drops no matter what. But actually, in this case, <laughs> Dark Zero hasn't brought a, has not brought a Habana. They've instead brought an Ash because they're aware Space Station are not reinforcing those drop downs. They don't need the extra hard destruction. This is a good rotation by Dark Zero, but that's, oh. that's on Space Station leaving that open. Here we go again, as there's three bodies assembled inside a moto with Mint ready to go. A great grenade from Nyx. We'll find Thinking Nade, and that's one great throw of a C4. But Chala taking out Hot and Cold, and almost all of Jarvis. Oh, no! Mint! will be dethroned as he hits Goo Mine, and that's a great play from Space Station with Redeemer taking out Jarvis after he eliminates one himself. Nyx is there to take out Redeemer, and he will grab the Blitz and bring him back to life, but no! Where does Bosco come from? The man just does it all, and Rampy at the bottom of the main stairs eliminates Pojo, man. What? A round for Space Station after it looked like Dark Zero was gonna be able to pull it off again but not a second time. That goo mine was very well placed there. You saw it downed Mint. He was on such low HP. He might have been able to make the play happen again, but it just did not because of that goo mine. So well done to Space Station. They read the play from Dark Zero, and Dark Zero did not adapt. Because they were so successful in the last round, they assumed they could do it again. Not the case. Good job to Space Station for fixing the problems in their defense. So, CCTV and cash as it is now open again, and hey, for the time being, Space Station doesn't have to go to that much maligned gym and master side of things. Attackers this is likely to going to work out bomb. quite well for Space Station. They held it perfectly before, and a big key to this was establishing good crossfires. So far on defense, Space Station have done an exemplary job of making sure that every single member of that team tries to have somebody else's back. You noted it with the goo mine that was tossed down by the bomb chassis. They knew where Mint was going to be pushing in from through that moto door, and they had it layered with traps to try and slow him down. One of the best ways to disable a shield's effectiveness is, of course, a goo mine, because they have to pause for a couple seconds, pull that needle out of their foot. And while they're doing so, not only are they vulnerable, but it gives you an opportunity to know where they are and prepare for what Five comes next. And that's exactly what SSG did, even after they lost the smoke. With a great frag grenade from Nyx to start things off. And it actually looked like Church was going to be extremely vulnerable. And C4 from Mira was a very important because it not only took out the Ash, but it forced the rest of DZ to take a step back. And in those few seconds, Space Station collapsed on Church, knowing where the play was coming from, and they just devoured Dark Zero. Overall, excellent coordination there to make all of that happen in the span of roughly 20 seconds to stave off quite a literal Blitzkrieg from DZ. <laughs> Located by attackers. Astute analysis there, Parker, on that last round. Now, moving here into the next, Dark Zero have decided to bring Mint on the Blackbeard instead of the Blitz. He's done enough on that operator for one day, and this is actually the first match we'll be playing today where Blackbeard is not banned. So, uh, something that was not an option the previous two. He's looking for a kill 
into Garage, but he's not able to find it just yet. That shield that has been placed specifically to assist Rampy, or rather, excuse me, Redeemer, is assisting him quite a lot. Bosco, though, will take down Nyx as he comes up from his roam by Strip Club, and that's one for SSG. That's two rounds where Nyx has just seemingly not understood that he was going to get run out <laughs> on. And unfortunately for right Nyx, now. that soft destruction could make life a living hell underneath that site with that skeleton key. And then furthermore, I don't think we need to continuously tell you how important it is that those frag grenades will not be stopped by an ADS. Yeah. Chow on a run out of his own, takes out Mint, and this is Space Station bringing all of the aggression to Dark Zero. Both of these teams are looking for a victory. Here is DZ so far undefeated. Space Station haven't got a victory quite yet. Bosco to the dance of death earlier on. But it'll be Redeemer who himself finds himself courting death as Jarvis takes him out with an asphyxiating bolt. It's traded off by thinking they getting a refrag onto Hot and Cold, meaning that it's going to be the two Canadians for Dark Zero in both Pojo Man and Jarvis left to carry the weight with thinking they'd hurt. It's really going to be all for Space Station worthy of note. Everybody else is still there. And with the Valkyrie cameras likely positioned to support aggressiveness, I would guess that we could see a gamble from somebody on SSG trying to take the fight to either members of the Dark Zero operators. This is definitely a position where SSG should be able to lock it out. The only way that uh, we're going to see a recovery here from Dark Zero is if uh, SSG gives away some pretty foolish picks. But it's unlikely to happen in the last 20 seconds of this round. C4's prep, gas canisters out. It will be one down onto Jarvis, and it's just gonna be Pojo to attempt the pickup. He will be successful, but to what end? As the flashes will miss their mark on the window, Bosco gets the last two kills. There's no need for a crossfire. I think that was a 3K from Bosco, if I recall correctly. He got the run out earlier on onto the buck, and an excellent play from him as the Gunners from Space Station have really come alive. And that was what I said needed to happen. You cannot carry yourself through five rounds with only 10 kills to your name. The rest of the team has woken up and it has paid immense amounts of dividends. And we are now tied up. The next team will guarantee, or the next win, rather, will guarantee a team at least one point. If you're Dark Zero, you need that to try and keep pace with EG, who look very fierce and could possibly run away with it. And there's a log jam below you. For Space Station, you're sitting the lower half of the standings. Despite, I think, a lot of people thinking your potential is higher, you need to fight for that entire win here because you've got a tough race ahead of you over the next 11 weeks after the conclusion of today. So, Attackers that's Cash and, and Church in hand, which means that the one site that Dark Zero was unable to pull off a successful victory on, or just successful defense as well, mm -hmm. is over on the Gym Master side of things. And that's where SSG will need to go. Unfortunate for their rotation, but if SSG can walk away with a victory on this site, I think that really speaks to their prowess on defense and sets them up in a great position to take the whole darn thing. So this is the real hurdle for Dark Zero. Quite literally. Really? Well, you have to look, think yeah, about the windows, Mike. I mean, yeah, I was... That's, rotate when you said hurdles, and literally, like, I, I did think about the windows, but I don't know. You can come at it from different angles. You don't have to attack the windows. Attackers recovered the bomb diffuser. Quite literally, the real hurdle for Dark Zero and uh, attacking the site that they were, as you said, unable to defend is kind of, a, I think, a, a really a good place to end, well, come close to, at least the second to last round, this match. Now, the first test is going to be, it seems, opening up that uh, jacuzzi wall, and they will have a Twitch drone to that end. There are no bandit batteries or mute jammers, which means it will be a free wall, I imagine, for Dark Zero, unless there's some kind of trickery going on here. Nope, it's, yeah, a free wall. So, interesting. They've decided to uh, set themselves up with a double reinforced bathroom and a castle barricade on the gym doorway. So this is an, a very a different defense from... Uh, SSG right now, but it's kind of being picked apart one step at a time. I'm guessing that this is a trap, that Dark Zero is walking into it head first, uh, because that's the only thing I, I... Space Station does not do things without a reason. They clearly have a plan here, but oh no, the Castle Barricade is not on the bathroom doorway, which we've seen in the past used as a trap for uh, the attackers. So this has just afforded Dark Zero quite a lot of control, unless SSG has some kind of trick up their sleeve that we're not aware of. And look at how everybody from Space Station has now been forced all the way back into the side 
of Master Bedroom. Jarvis will start things off by eliminating Chala. The only big focus for Space Station is going to be Bosco below. So he's going to have a C4 in hand and will likely have at least one camera assisting him. Taking out the Legion with a minute and a half is very important because that means that he will have very limited traps to be able to stop you. And as you can see from Dark Zero, Mint is once again being reunited with his long lost lover on that Blitz, ready to, in ready to inflict as much damage as he can on that site. Jarvis from behind will take out Redeemer, and that's two for Jarvis with Nyx there onto Bosco, and this site is just not working out very well. Oh, uh -oh. Mint's coming in, looking for his 15th. He'll pick it up, and a big smite with that shield as he strikes down Space Station Gaming. Jarvis's 3K will finish off the round, and Dark Zero will secure themselves, at minimum, a draw. Meaning that there will be no first victory of the season for Space Station, and there will be no first loss of the season for Dark Zero, no matter what happens in this round. So... Space Station, to their luck, will get to go back to Church Arsenal Room for the final defense, final round of this map. And that is, I, I have to say, that is really good for them. That's screaming draw to me. And we're going to have to see some pretty heroic plays here from Dark Zero if there's going to be anything different. That's quite interesting. So here we go. The difference maker could be... And Mint is adjusting from the Blitz to the Glass. He has picked the Blitz. So for those of you unfamiliar, in the reveal phase, both teams are made aware of what their opponents have brought in terms of operators. But you cannot see your opponent's sixth pick. So Mint switched off the Blitz using the sixth pick into the Glass, which means Space Station believe that Mint is playing Blitz, or they believe it's likely, of course, they know of the potential sixth pick. But... He is not. He's chosen to go on to Glass, which could be the curveball that Dark Zero needs to get a win here in this match. However, it's still going to be very difficult as they attack to the hardest to well attack site on this entire map. The one thing about a, a Glass is that his rifle and his weaponry in total is so distinctive. Mm -hmm. Like everybody As soon as you shoot. The moment that he takes one shot with the DMR, his position is going to be given away, and they're going to say, oh, it's a Glass, obviously. So don't peek his smoke. So maybe don't peek him. But lucky for uh, Space Station, they have uh, they have Redeemer, who happens to be one and only with Maestro as of late. And of course, those evil-eye cameras that kind of resemble the logo of Space Station Gaming can see hmm. through the smoke. You know, I never thought about that, but you're right. You're absolutely right. The evil eyes do look a lot like that. Yes. Yes. What do you think the thought process is behind... You, you mentioned it. What do you think the thought process is behind Space Station Gaming just not reinforcing half of those hatches? Uh, they're reinforcing blue. Uh, I, I don't know entirely why. I'm guessing they're trying to contain blue. It's definitely a different mentality. This time they've left one reinforcement off. I'm, they must have put it somewhere else. But yeah, it's, it's a weird way to defend this site, I have to say. And in my opinion, it leaves you very exposed to blue. Um, but that's what they've been doing. It works for them once. Uh, I do think it's inefficient. And, and this is the biggest thing. It allows Dark Zero flexibility on their operators. And obviously, Dark Zero has taken full advantage of that. They don't need to bring a Habana. It's not necessary because the drops aren't reinforced. Like, right. why would you? I think the kitchen one might be. But other than that, no. So, yeah, an interesting choice uh, by Space Station, uh, choosing to reinforce other things, specifically, yeah, again, that blue. It's going to be, I believe, both thermite charges, exothermic charges, pardon me, being used to open up, uh, I want to say, one of the drop downs and. Uh, the dirt tunnel. Attackers so if they get into blue, they're not going to be able to open up those walls. But luckily, they're not fully reinforced this time around, and if the buck makes it there, he can skeleton key. If he makes it there, which is not <laughs> which is not a given, <laughs> given that Nyx has typically been felled within the first minute or so of yeah. each round, but he's doing a great job of keeping alive this time. One thing worth noting as well with, with the Glass-Castle combo is that there was a period of time where your Glass used to be able to destroy those castle barricades, and they just can't seem to do it. And now, with the changes being made, you're gonna need to use to, you're gonna need to use some other utility. The telltale signs of smoke taking some damage as an exo or as rather an asphyxiating bolt from Jarvis will go down and Nyx narrowly losing his life. It's just gonna be a drop from Mint here as he sees one. Han Cole gets finished off by thinking Nate. Fighting for a draw is going to be the rest of SSG. Gonna take one down. Mint a great flick. Oh, oh Mint two to pick up. 
massive amount of kills. He'll stop to take out the goo mine from his foot. Nyx is there. He'll punish one as the mirror corpse slinks down. Redeemer will fell the glass, and Jarvis will have to fall off the plant. The uh -oh. only member of cover he has is Nyx, but Jarvis's position being pinged away. This is Rampy right here to take advantage of it, and that'll be two big kills. Nyx will need to do his work, but Redeemer will shut it down, and Space Station will ensure that they get a point of their own. The second draw in North America and the second draw in Pro League this season as both teams get 6-6. Six, six. They'll both walk away with one point. Also, the second draw for Space Station, which is, you know, curious. They're coming so close to these wins, but they can never lock it out. In this case, the same for Dark Zero, a very well-fought draw for both teams, and honestly can't complain with that result. All things considered, one of the best matches we've had today.